Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns. And this is going to be an overview for the month of June. I'll be using my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot Deck. To clarify, I'll be using my tarot cards, the easy tarot. So, darlings, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, darlings. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. I deliver you these messages always, darlings, always from my heart to your heart, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what does not. All right. These cards weren't etched in stone. Anything can change. Okay, babies? Don't set your stake everything on these cards, okay? That's not the way it's supposed to go. This is just a tool, all right? And anything can change because we have free will. Free will. So we can change situations in our lives. We are capable of doing that. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is for you. The Nine of Cups, your wishes are fulfilled, your dreams are coming true, or they already did. This is past energy. We got the Knight of Pentacles, good news about financial matters, or things are coming slow and steady. There's abundance, babies. We got the Empress. We got the Queen of Pentacles, I'll say that's you, Verb, um, Capricorn. Please forgive, the slip of the tongue is no fault of the mind. The Queen of Pentacles. That's you, Capricorn. You got the hangman. You got some delays. What's going on? Well, you got to make a choice about something. That's why you got some delays. Ah, oh, you're crying over spilt milk. You feel a little upside down here. What's going on with you, Capricorn? You got the three of wands. No matter what, things are expanding and looking up for you. New emotional experience? Or are you going on a trip? We got the Knight of Wands here. This is some passionate energy. Now, this could be passionate as in sexy kind of passionate, you know? So, I don't know. We'll keep going and see what happens. <clears throat> also, impulsive energy. All right, Capricorn. So impulsive and and um, that other kind of energy, you know, might not be the right thing to do because then things never really work out. You know what I'm saying? Know your worth. Know your value. Okay. I'm speaking to everybody, masculines and feminines, okay? Whenever I speak about this, I speak to everyone. At everyone. Whoever I identify, whatever you identify as, babies, I, I speak to everyone, okay? Everyone. So, I can't remember what I was saying, but it'll come back. <laughs> Capricorn, let's see, babies, let's see. All right. Okay, so on top of the Nine of Cups, we got the Page of Cups, we got the Five of Wands, and we got the Two of Swords. You got to make a decision. This is past energy. You had to make a decision, a decision that made a lot, that caused a lot of conflict. The Page of Cups, you needed to use your intuition, but yet your wishes were fulfilled. This, is, this was a tough decision here, though. You got the Page of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Swords. 
And then you got the Knight of Pentacles. On top of the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Four of Wands, we got the Three of Cups, and we got the Four of Cups. You got good news about financial matters. It seems like, I mean, things are going good for you. Celebrations, united family, homecoming, some kind of reunion. But you got to make a choice about. You haven't made the choices yet, have you? Some kind of celebration, but you kind of feel like you, you in your head. You're doing a lot of overthinking. You know, when you do that, you know, I mean, you miss things, okay? When you get lost in your head, you can miss what's going on around you. Don't do that to yourself. We got the four of wands, we got the three of cups, and we got the four of cups. On top of the knight of pentacles. Remember now, you got the empress. The empress is about abundance and prosperity, fertility even. Oh, babies, there's something tight, something wrong here. There's something going on. You had a new beginning here, but there was something unhealthy with the new beginning. What happened? Hmm? You got yourself tied up in a situation. A situation you thought that was a new beginning here. But this situation was not good for you. You got the eight of swords, darling. Feeling helpless, hands tied. Paralyzed by fear. You? No. The fool. It's time to start a new experience. But then we got the devil. And what is he doing here? The human being and his excesses. It's talking about toxicity, addiction, self-perception, secrecy, temptation, obsession, bondage, which greed, ego, sexuality, violence. Aggression, depression, abuse, mental health problems. So it could be a lot of things, you know. It's excess, though. It's an excess. Whatever it is, it could be gambling, alcohol, you know, overindulgence. All right? There's something here. Something with this new beginning was not healthy for you. We'll keep going. You got the Eight of Swords. You got yourself tied up in a situation here. You got the Fool and you got the Devil. Then you got the Queen of Pentacles, and I said that was you, Capricorn. And on top of you, we got the Ace of Wands, we got the Four of Pentacles, and we got the Nine of Swords. What are you worried? What is what's worrying you? Hmm? Something is worrying you. You got some good news. You received some news. Good news about money, but yet you're worried about something. You're unhappy about something. What are you unhappy about? You got a new financial, well, good news about a new creative beginning. Something, something new beginning and something creating, something new. You got the Ace of Wands. You got the Four of Pentacles. Now, the card says power, right, on the side here. It also says greedy people, materialism, wealth, financial stability, saving for big purchases, hoarding, control, possessiveness, retirement, and past affairs. Could be that you're holding on to an energy that you need to release. Maybe that unhealthy energy. I don't know. Maybe that energy has some type of addiction or something, you know, that you got to pay attention to. You know, maybe you need to release it because it's keeping you up at night. You're expecting the worst from this. You got the Ace of Wands, you got the Four of Pentacles, and you got the Nine of Swords here. Stop the worry, okay, baby? Worry brings worry. Worry brings worry. And the Hangman, the Hangman is, but you can't move left or right. You can't do anything because there's a lot of conflict around you. You need to take a break from everything that's up and down and all the negativity. You got to get away from that for a while. Take a break to breathe. There's an ending coming. There's a change coming for you, okay? The end of a cycle and the reemergence of another. So you're going to have to make a choice. Or you will, or you did make the choice. And there's a new 
something new coming. There's the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one for you. We got the Five of Swords, you got the Four of Swords, and you got the Death card. All right, this is about conflict. This is about you needing to take a break from all this conflict and this worry and all this stuff that's going on. You know, I, I don't think I've ever seen Capricorn this upside down. And you having a new beginning here. That's on top of the hangman, not on top of the two of wands. So Capricorn, the two of wands, something comes to com successful completion for you. No, no matter what. But all the ups and downs that you're going through, you'll be fine. You know that. I mean, you're Capricorn now. Come on now. You got the world, you got the king of pentacles, and you got the king of wands. Now, the king of wands is a fire energy. This could be a, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius in your environment. The world card is about um, success, completion, successful completion of a project. This is you, the king of pentacles, you know, I mean, firm financially, good business person. You're financially blessed. Good life. Feeling stable. And you got the king of wands next to you. A bold, quick, generous energy. A Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius for you here. On top of the two of wands. And then you got the five of cups. On top of the Five of Cups, you got the Ace of Swords, you got the Ace of Cups, and you got the Six of Cups. The Ace of Swords is about mental clarity. So whatever has got you like this that you're worried about, you're going to have clarity over that. You might walk away from him. I know somebody need to hear that. You might walk away from it. I meant to say it. You might walk away from whatever it is that got you upside down. And it's something from the past that you're going to walk away from. Something that's not good for you. Something that was supposed to be a new beginning. Something that was not healthy. You're going to walk away from that. You're going your way. The end of a stage. I told you there was a, a, um, a change. You got the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Cups. And the Six of Cups. You will have the mental clarity. You're going you're, you're gonna to take care of everything. And then you got the Three of Wands here. Expansion, forward movement, maybe going on a trip, maybe moving, me walking away from something. You got the six of wands here, which is about you being successful. Where you, it says work results, good news, successful, I say. And then the wheel of fortune, things change for the better. Things change for the good. Change, success, good fortune. You got the wheel of fortune, but you need to be aware. Pay attention to people, okay? There's some kind of sneakiness going on around here. This card says, well, it says seven of swords and it says lies. Someone is cheating, enemy posing as a friend, hidden secrets, dangerous behavior, theft, lack of conscience, strategy, so something is going on. I don't know if somebody making plans around you and you're not aware of it, but I think you are aware of it. You got the six of wands, you got the wheel of fortune, and you got the seven of swords. Be aware. Keep your eyes open. All right? Just keep your eyes open. Then you got the knight of wands. And that's passionate energy there. Whatever it is that's coming towards you, I mean, it could be impulsive energy, it could be passionate energy. It seems like it's going to bring abundance towards you. We got the Empress, we got the Six of Swords. Things are going to, things are going to start calming down in your environment and you might be leaving something behind. And you might be leaving it behind because of the Two of Cups. Love, mutual attraction. I don't know. We got the Empress, we got the Six of Swords, and we got the Two of Cups. Love, harmony, warm friendship. You got to make a choice. You have to make a choice. 
Make a decision. You got the Seven of Cups. You got the Three of Swords. Break up pain. That's what the card says. Disappointment. And I don't know if this has anything to do with the air energy or if your situation is just don't have no emotion left in it, you know. Sometimes we stay in relationships and there ain't absolutely no emotions left in the relationship, but we still hanging on. Hanging on for what only God knows, you know. So you need to make a choice. You got to make a decision. Maybe a decision that's going to break your heart or somebody's heart. And you got the King of Swords. I don't know if this is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius within your environment. Or if you're seeking truth about something. Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. I say no matter what's going on. You're going to be able to come to the decisions that you are going to, are supposed to come to. Okay? You're going to trust yourself and you're going to make up your own mind. You're going to trust you. Okay? Financially, things are going to work out for you. And every, you're resilient, man. Whatever happens, you always get back up. You know, things are going to work out. Okay? Everything is yes all across the board. Yes. Everything will work out for you. You just got to believe it will. Only you can make it work out. Nobody else but you. So we got the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Wands. And we got the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is about you seeing the... Um, starting to see the rewards of your hard work. You got the Nine of Wands. You got a lot of strength. You're resilient. No matter what, you always get back up. And you got the Three of Pentacles. Your hard work is starting to grow. Your career is moving upwards. The finances are growing. Okay, whatever it is that you're working on, keep focused. Even if you stumble, you get back up. Whatever it is going on with the heart, whatever this new beginning was that was unhealthy, take care of it, okay, babies? Do it with love. Keep love in your heart. Set out with good intentions. Set out with integrity and things, will, things have a way of working out, okay? Oh, Tico scared me. Well, not scared me. I mean, I knew it had to be one of the dogs. But, um, startled me. Startled is a, probably a better word. But, all in all, there's going to be an ending here and bringing in something new for you, okay? You're going to successfully complete something. Whatever it is that you're working on. You got the Nine of Pentacles, you got the Nine of Wands, and you got the Three of Pentacles. Your career, okay? Stop worrying about money. Take care of whatever it is that you got to take care of where the heart is concerned. That's important too. All right? Go within you and do some healing if you need to do that. When you start healing, you start seeing magic. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.